Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm filming my very first update for a brand new project I'm doing this year, Project Level Up. This project was created by Sophie Alexandra here on YouTube who does a ton of panning videos and a lot of other makeup content as well. So definitely check out her channel if you are not familiar with her. She is just lovely. But this project is really fun. It's kind of like my extra project this year. You know, I just wanted to pile another one on there, just throw it on, why not? And I'll be honest, I am feeling a little overwhelmed with eyeshadows in my projects this year, but that's okay. I'm, I'm still having fun and we're two months in, just about. I will link Sophie's introduction video right up here in the card so you can check out her description of this project and what it's all about. But I'll give you a brief little synopsis. In Project Level Up, you are randomly selecting an eyeshadow palette to work on and you are going through a series of levels with each palette that you roll in. So of course you start with level one. In level one, you're trying to use every shade in the palette at least one time and hit pan on one shade in that palette. And then level two, you're using each shade two times, trying to hit two pans, et cetera, et cetera. Last month, I was so excited to roll in my ABH Norvina palette. This is a brand new palette in my collection and it's been so great to actually get use on it, try out every single shade. I'll go through each shade in this palette and let you know how many times I used it. And we'll see if I did hit that goal of hitting pan. This is my first time doing an update for this project. So bear with me if I'm kind of ironing out the kinks a little bit and figuring out how I wanna format it. And I also might be breaking the rules a little bit already in this first month, but it's uh, for a good reason. I think you'll forgive me once you find out why. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't seen my introduction video, I will link it right here for you. But in that video, I did randomly select my ABH Norvina palette and I have been trying to use every shade one time and hit one pan because of course I'm on level one. Here's what the palette was looking like last month when I first rolled it in. I don't even think I had swatched this palette. It was literally brand spanking new. And here's what it's looking like today. As you can see, we don't have any pans yet, but I am happy to report that I was able to use every shade at least one time. So starting with this first shade here, that is Dreamer. Obviously, if you can't tell already, this is my focus shade that I'm trying to hit pan on right now. I've actually reached for this shade a whopping 22 times in the past month. And although we don't have pan on it, it is not for a lack of trying. I think 22 times on an ABH shimmer is pretty impressive. I do have this all over my lid today, as well as on my inner corner. It's been an inner corner shade almost every day since bringing it into this project. And I still don't have a pan on it, but you can see how deep it is. Pan is so close. I know it's coming. It's probably, two, maybe three uses away. So we might have to just, you know, insert a video here of when I do hit pan on this shade because Lord knows it's gonna take me at least a day or two to edit this video and maybe in that time I will hit pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretend, like a little flash forward to when I'm posting this video. Look at this pan. Isn't it beautiful? I had to use it this many more times to hit that pan, making for a total of this many uses. And I'm so happy to say that we now have one pan <laughs> in this palette in the future. That's coming very, very soon. Moving on to this next shade, Summer. I used that shade two times. Such a gorgeous shimmer. I think it's probably one of my favorites in the palette. I contemplated having that as my focus, but it was just too similar to other shades I'm working on, but I'm happy I used it at least two times. Next, we have the Pink Shimmer Wild Child. I used that just one time. Kind of a missed opportunity having this in the month of February and only reaching for that one time. I've obviously had my attention focused many other places. The next one is Rose Gold. I also used this shade one time. I think this is the same shade that's in the ABH Sultry palette. Is that correct? Or maybe the Soft Glam? It seems very similar to another shade they have, or I'll have to look at my ABH palettes and verify if that's true. Celestial, the purple shimmer here, I used just two times. Kind of disappointing shade in my opinion. Maybe it's just the combination of things I paired it with, but I was a little disappointed for that purple shimmer to not be as punchy purple as I hoped it would be. Let me swatch it for you so you actually get an idea and I'm not just talking. There it is. I just feel like the shimmer is just like, meh. I wanted it to be more. I wanted more. Mm, maybe I just need to give it more of a chance. Dazzling here, I also used one time, but it is so gorgeous. I really, really like that shade. Look at that. So shiny. I mean, do you see how much more shiny that is compared to Celestial next to it? has so much more of a shimmer and this one it just looks wet you know and this one's just like mm, not like it's not bad it's just 
I want it to be more like this, okay? And that last top shade is Drama, and I also used that shade just one time. Jumping down to that second row base is that cream colored shade. I actually reached for that four times to set my whole lid over my eyeshadow primer. I would have reached for it more, but there's a lot of cream colored shades in my Pan That palette that I decided to focus on instead and just be happy with those four uses there. Soul, this Periwinkle blue shade, I reached for twice and I actually quite enjoyed it. It's such a unique color in my collection. It was kind of fun to play with and see what paired well with it. Had some interesting combinations. Incense is a really pretty Pretty, just neutral brown surprisingly I only reached for this one time love very pretty pale pink again kind of missed opportunity also reached for that one only one time volatile I reached for twice it's kind of a very like taupey deeper brown eccentrics that really pretty warm almost like orangey brown shade only reached for that one time and then passion it's kind of like a mauvey brown and I reached for that twice here are all those shades swatched. I did a nice little hand swatch for you last update so you can kind of get a better look at the whole color story as a whole one last time. Here's where I'm gonna break the rules a little bit. Don't be mad. I think you'll understand, you know, there's a lot of thought process that goes into this. <laughs> I wasn't going to film today because I hadn't quite hit that pan yet. I was just gonna give it the two, three more uses that it needs to meet that goal of hitting pan on one of the shades. But today was the day that I had time to film. I really liked how my hair looked. I had a cute like Valentine thing going on. It's not Valentine's, it's the day before Valentine's, but um, you know, I wanted to film and I have the time to film and I'm gonna film. So that's why I am inserting future footage here of that palette with more uses and that pan on Dreamer that is coming with just a couple more uses. And that means I am going to level up. I am going to roll this out and pick a new palette to focus on because I know as soon as I hit pan on this, I'm gonna wanna jumpstart into level two and I wanna be prepared for that and have a palette that I'm ready to reach for. So without further ado, let me grab my iPad with my Tiny Decisions app and I will randomly select a new palette to work on for Project Level Up. I have all of my palettes here in this wheel. This is the same exact wheel I use for my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. So if I roll in any of my potted singles or any singles from my Z palette, then I probably will re-roll. Maybe not for my Z palette. I'll see how I feel if that does happen. Sorry about that. Had a brief visit from dear old dad. He brought me some of his homemade marinara sauce, which always makes me feel extra loved and special and it is so delicious. So back to the video, I'm about to randomly select the next palette that I'll be working on for this project for level two. And that means I'll have to use each shade in the palette at least twice and try and hit two pans. And I'm already feeling like some anxiety over this, like a little bit of feeling of overwhelm because I, like I said, I'm working on a lot of other eyeshadows right now. Ah, <sighs> but that's okay. Again, this is like a background project. It's for fun, and I need to remind myself of that and not get all, I don't know, not take it too seriously, because it's not serious. It's a makeup project on YouTube, okay? There are real problems in the world. <sighs> Okay, again, if I roll in a pot of single, I will re-roll. If I roll in my Z palette of singles, I'll contemplate. And if I roll in any of my Pandos eyeshadows palettes, I will roll that palette in, but I will have to hit two additional pans in addition to the pan I'm already trying to hit in that palette. So many peas. Okay, let's go. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh gosh, I'm excited. I'm nervous, I'm excited, oh. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. All right, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's the ColourPop High Society palette, which I think is the palette in my pan of eyeshadows. Let me double check. Um, yes, it is. It's this palette right here. And if you're watching my pan of eyeshadows series, which obviously you should be, I'll link it here if you're not, like go watch it. It's my favorite project to film. I'm currently working on panning this shade here, Diamond Cut. And there are not any spoilers here because I just filmed my Panless Eyeshadows update and haven't used this since then. But I now have to hit pan in two of these four shades and I have to use each of the shades in here at least two times. So I'm actually kind of relieved. This is gonna be an easier palette to work on even though these are such bright colors and maybe not the most wearable on a daily basis. We are approaching the month of March. Hello, St. Patrick's Day. And these pans are quite shallow and I've been able to hit pan on them quite easily in a palette similar to this that's the same kind of line but different colors the blue version i have quite a dip going on this last shade here chain mail already so that might be a natural focus for me to reach for and i also have quite a bit of use on blair as well as hoops so 
I think that I might be able to roll this one out pretty quickly. That just means I'm going to be doing a lot of greens in the next couple of weeks, but what a better time of year to do that. And I'm actually quite excited to just play with green more. And I've recently had a lot of greens pop into my projects and it's been a lot of fun and I'm not mad about it at all. Being only five shades in here, I'm gonna reach that two use goal pretty quickly, especially since one of these shades is already a focus in my Pandos eyeshadows. And once I hit two other pans, that means I'm gonna have three pans in this palette. I don't think I've ever had three pans in a quintet like this before. And I'm just excited to have fun with some bright colors. We're gearing up into the springtime Time. The days are getting longer, the weather is getting a little warmer, and I'm ready to spring into action, into this palette, into high society. So there you have it. That is my level two eyeshadow palette. I think I definitely kind of dodged a bullet, got a little bit of a easy break on that one and it feels really exciting. I can't wait to reach for this. I'll probably put off reaching for this until I finally do hit that pan in Dreamer in this palette, but I don't think that is gonna be far away, maybe a couple days, and then I'll be diving in and just having fun with this palette for the next couple weeks. Let me know how you think I should do my updates for this project. I'm teetering whether or not I should update this series monthly as I initially thought I would, or if I should just wait until I reach those goals before I do an update, like wait until I reach two pans in this palette before I bother filming an update video. But that could be two months away, and I don't necessarily wanna put off filming that far, especially as we get into the higher levels where I'm having to hit three or four pans. Obviously, that's gonna take me a lot longer than a month maybe even longer than two or three months to reach that goal. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I haven't watched a ton of these videos, so I don't really know what a lot of other creators do, but I'll probably go back and do some research, see what Sophie Alexandra does, and help that to inform my decision on what I do moving forward in addition to what your comments are. So thank you for your input. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a little shamrock emoji in the comments to let me know that you made it all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. If you're to the end then you must be subscribed and if you're not go ahead and just get that over with right let's go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my project penny updates and any other video i happen to have the time and bandwidth to film and upload for you as always thank you again for being here i hope you're doing really well and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye